Today I'm going to expose one of the biggest secrets on how to make money through Dubai real estate. It's definitely not by forwarding brochures. <laughs> if you, the art, the devil is in the details, you know. So I'm going to tell you how to analyze the master plan, not the master plan, the particular clusters master plan and how to get into that floor plan study every single floor plan now this takes a lot of effort now if you see my 45 million loss video and you compare it with this video you'll exactly understand how i make millions of dirhams for my customers my clients so this product called nima in the valley right i went through every single floor plan so this was my favorite and I'll explain why. So let's suppose there's a style called Canna. Now Canna, it's an open plan, proper rectangular shaped garden. This is the preferred layout. Now in detail, we need to understand what's the difference between a four plex, six plex and an eight plex. That's more of a discussion with a bulk investor. And that's not required in this video, all right? In this video, I'm going to give you a very simple hack, all right? So if you study this, and all you have to do is compare it with this, type 1B. It's just one alphabet. But this is long and narrow. It's, the, it's a very similar square footage, and it's going to be a very similar price. But... When the property is ready in 2027, when somebody enters a 1A and somebody enters a 1B, it's going to make probably half a million to a million rooms of a difference because everyone's going to be, most of the end users are going to love that view, love that floor plan. So, and you can observe in the 1B, so there'll be a Canna type 1A and there'll be a Canna type 1A mirrored. Either one of them works absolutely fine. You can observe that some of the floor plans will have a slightly tilted garden. This is not going to impact. That's not going to be the problem. The problem is going to be in the actual floor plan where um, investors or end users, ideally a family, when they see the type 1B and they see the type 1A, they would love this floor plan a lot better. So this is uh, the Kana type 1a mirrored now finally there's one more type it's the setter i'll quickly show you setter and the same would be in three beds as well there'll be canna type 1a mirrored 1b mirrored setter so different villa communities there'll be different names but this is how to analyze investments in this channel it's always about how to analyze investments so the setter now the setter was uh, is slightly smaller compared to the canna but this this floor plan is great as well again it's just a problem of a slight tilt but this floor plan will work perfectly as well uh, it's a sli it's slightly smaller as you can see the living space is slightly lesser i've gone through the floor plan in detail so i know this that uh, it's slightly lesser compared to uh, the Hana type 1A. So that would be my number one preference. And my number two preference would be a setter, but I would not invest in a type 1B. Simple hack, same price, huge difference. Another fun fact, okay, so I've explained about the four plex, six plex, and the, and the eight plex. There's a 10 plex as well. That we'll discuss with the bulk investor when they pick up the whole cluster. Makes a huge difference in terms of what priority you get with EMA. That's the whole game, right? When EMA, priority is the game. So now let's study the cluster map. I will explain the master plan later in this video. But when you see the whole cluster, I'll tell you how I would look at it. Now, for example, look at this plot. It looks like a really big plot, a lot of empty space on this section you have the lake in front you have the pool right in front so this particular section would be very interesting to invest now apart from this let's see 
there are these belts, right? So this particular villa right in front of a park, right in front of a belt would be very exciting to invest. Over here, I wouldn't mind this section as well. There's a park, there are these beautiful bridges. I can walk towards the park, towards the jogging track. So that's how, and then uh, I wouldn't mind well, I think that's about it. This is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite clusters. This right here, E. You know, because it's got a little slightly wider patch of the lake. There's a beautiful green area. Uh, so that. So this is how you analyze the cluster map. So you really need to dive deep. So it's not about forwarding the brochures or studies going through brochures. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is nice. No, you dive deep. Study the floor plans. Try to, in fact, find flaws. I try to find flaws. Okay, where's the mistake? You know, what's wrong? I, I, there are a few mistakes that I've identified, but I can work around them. Then you dive deep into the master plan, the cluster map. And then you try to find those, uh, try to find those locations. I've made a complete note down of all the unit numbers that I want. So it makes my life a lot easier tomorrow at the launch, where I know the unit numbers that I need for my investors. That's how you make some serious money. I can watch the rest of the video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't remember this most important part. So I shot the video first <laughs> and then I forgot about this part. So we're starting a little bit reverse today. I'm starting with the end and now we can enjoy the rest of the video. This report is ready today morning around 10 a.m. but it's 9 p.m. the night. It's, I only got this time to actually explain this report. So I'm just going to quickly run into it. So we're going to cover um, location, master plan, cash flow, comparative floor plan. Uh, let me straight. Uh, so these are renderings. These I can forward to you. It's pretty straightforward. It looks fantastic. I love the product. Um, my goal is this, you know, a river facing community. If you saw my video where I'm explaining what a lake community is by Ima, you would know that this is a fantastic investment. So this is exactly, um, it looks like a, a maple, a slightly nicer, and that's what Imar does. Every project that they come up with, uh, Ranches 2 was slightly more modern compared to Ranches 1. Uh, Ranches 3, again, but slightly better than Ranches 2. The Valley, I think is one of the best products by Ima on the market. Why? Just the facilities, if you look at the facilities that they're coming up with. Imar has never come up with the Golden Beach, but they understood that this is the requirement of the market. The investors are coming majorly from Europe, UK, Australia, US, Japan, Hong Kong. All of them love these water bodies. They love the water features. Um, you have... This is something very common in every EMA community. You'll have a little shopping center right in between. That's what EMA does, right? They make the community like a city in itself. You cannot leave the community. That's why the demographic of end users are so high. There's no supply in the market. The demand increase, the prices increase. I'm coming to the price in a bit. Uh, just running through the facilities. I love this part. I have kids, so I know that they're going to love this community. So I've invested, I've, I've mentioned to you, I've invested in, in Vivana because um, I live nearby in Silicon Oasis. Uh, so I know how the traffic is so minimal. There's no traffic congestion. I face no traffic congestion. It takes me 20 minutes to downtown, 20 minutes to my office in Dubai Hills. Um, my son studies in James Wellington, lovely schools, great universities, everything is nearby. So if with all these facilities, the investment make complete sense. Uh, now let's understand the master plan. This is really important. I, I mentioned a very important factor that uh, the community should have both a high-end villa section and the regular townhouses. Like in Dubai Hills, there is Sidra and Maple. And on the other end, in, next to the club, you have the high-end villas. This is the same situation over here. They're going to develop this section where there will be farm gardens, farmhouses, their larger size villa with bigger ticket sizes. Uh, right now, they initially sold out between 5.5 all the way up to 9 million. The second launch is going to be 6.5 to 11 million and that's how they maintain value of the entire community uh, if you understand Rivana I'll send this map as well so you have this beautiful sort of river encircling the entire community so my target is to get the best products that have easy access to the park to the mall or ideally a lake facing 
property. Now, this is a cash flow analysis. This is how the, your cash will be flowing uh, initially. It's pretty straightforward, right? So 10% September, November. In, so in, in 23, you're only 20%. In 24, you have 20%. 25, 20%. In 26, you have 30%. So I think it's a very fair cash flow situation. Now, the game or the gig or the reason why <laughs> the rich get richer is that the entire game with Imar is about booking because tomorrow, today is uh, 27th September, 9 p.m. on a Wednesday. 28th September, this product is going to be sold out 100%. I know I have 50, I have 50 checks, 50 checks with 24% payment. Now, what does 24% mean? Or if I pay instead of 10 plus 4, that's 10% plus 4% DLD. Instead, if I pay 24%, I get priority booking. So how does EMAR allocation work? On day one, so in fact, tonight, by tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., bulk bookings are done. What is a bulk booking? Means uh, you can pick up a cluster of, <laughs> you can pick up a cluster of, four townhouses now earlier so I saw this little section over here so this is a bulk booking that is one two three uh, it'll sometimes be four three beds two four beds or a smaller cluster where there is two three beds and two four beds so this is a cluster now earlier one investor could pick up two clusters now for Nima we gave them bulk booking orders but they said no one cluster, one investor, one passport. So we could only pick up our bulk words for, for each passport copy, four units. So they get number one priority. Number one priority are for diamond, EMAR diamond customers, means we've been an EMAR buyer for quite a while now, and then bulk buyers. Number two is priority booking. Now priority booking are Clients who have given a 24% payment, so instead of, you've got to club these two payments. So clients who are willing to pay, it's to avoid the speculators, that's all. Of course, Imar does this, they, they refine the list, they make sure that top buyers, end users, investors, not the speculators are investing in the unit. So they get the best, best allocations. So I always advise my investors, it's always better to pay the 24% and pick up the best locations. Unfortunately, by 4 p.m., by the time it reaches the general inventory, the small brokers are left with nothing. So if you're investing in an EMA property, it only makes sense to go with the top agents or the top brokers. The smaller agents don't stand a chance. It's, I don't know, it's just the law of the jungle. It's just how it works in Dubai. So not, Dealing with EMAR is not every agent's gig. That's why you'll find more, more videos or theories of content of tier two developers with the big boys, the big boys can play. So uh, moving forward, uh, we have observations. <laughs> okay, see, there is an undersupply of good quality villa communities in Dubai. Hence the surge in pricing. Any any villa community. I'm going to come to actual pricing. You'll be shocked. I'm talking about 25 year old communities, lakes, springs, meadows, Arabian ranches, Arabian ranches too. You will see the prices now, so you understand what I'm talking about. Extremely, the rents and the sale prices have really taken a surge because there are very few villa communities that make actual sense. So uh, if we study in these areas. Uh, Hesse Street. So all, literally all three of these 12, 14,500 townhouses are coming on that one Hesse Street. Already there's traffic. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, quite, it's quite sad. So, um, so this, this section over here 
is where you have your Um Sukim and your Hesse Street. It's packed. So where do people go? You either have to go towards Dubai South or you go towards the northern side. Now why I always chose the northern side because the northern side is fully developed. So whether it's the Golden Belt, I love the infrastructure in comparison to the Palm Jebel Ali because all this white that you see is sand. It's desert. Nothing there. So when I'm traveling, so right now I'm uh, I'm located in this section Dubai Hills. So when I'm driving towards uh, Dubai South, you know, I get bored and hence I can't sell the product because there's so much of infrastructure left to build. But on this side where we're talking about, so this is exactly academic city that you can see over here. This is exactly where Valley is at this point. Ready infrastructure, there's already infrastructure over there. The white that you see is the valley, the building that they're developing. Everything else is pretty much developed in this section. And they're coming up really, so this is exactly the location of valley. Academic city is here, Dubai Silicon Oasis is here. On the left, you will find the villa ready. Behind the villa, Villanova. Next to Villanova, you have a Habtur Polo Resort. Next to that, Arabian Ranch is three. Next to that, Shoba is coming up with Forest Village. So, you know, the, the community is ready. The infrastructure is full. It just makes sense. And then one single road, one road, I'll, I'll show you the, let me show you the next map. So if you look at the map, it's literally, so this is the location of Valley. One road to downtown, one single six lane road to downtown and downtown 2.0 is right here. Dubai Creek Harbor is right here. So two of some of the major development with ready infrastructure is happening right here. So for me, this location is so prime, so critical. And the sort of price point we're talking about right now is minimal. So if you just understand the product, so uh, you can, sorry, constantly clicking on the screen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but the other one is touch screen. So if you click on it, you will find You will find that, uh, look at the prices, uh, this is 5.4 million dirhams. The house is, is very basic, you can, you can go through the house, you know, it's, it's, it's a very, very basic house. It's going at 5.3 million dirhams. Why is it going at 5.3 million dirhams? It, it looks extremely basic, as you can see, I'll just run you through the property. Uh, it, it's nothing compared to what, you, what we're going to get right now. Why are we getting five point? Let me get the exact price. I'm sorry. It's 5.4 million dirhams, 2868 square foot. So it's exactly uh, very comparable to what we are dealing with right now. Why? Why is the price 5.4 million dirhams? Let's go to the next one. Uh, I, I, will, I will get back to, I will answer this question. Why the price is 5.4 billion rooms? So you saw the links. Now I, I'll, I'll send you this report. You can click into any of these links and you'll find these prices. Now why? You have to see Springs. Really run down properties. But why are these prices at, at this sort of price range? And then you have your NEMA over here at 909. And it's, technically, I feel like it's unfair to compare double, right? Double. Why? And it's unfair to compare Nima. So beautiful. It's modern, beautiful lake view, fantastic facilities. It's, and all these are Ima communities. Why they've increased prices? Because it's Ima, right? They, they, they build a system, an ecosystem that you just can't exit. Your children's schools are there. Your, your, yeah, the parks are there, the, the offices are right there. So it becomes a city within a city and you, you have everything, the hospitals are there. Everything you need is right at your doorstep. So you wouldn't feel like ever exiting. You speak to an Arabian ranch as one resident, they would never leave. You speak to somebody in Dubai Hills, so who are my investors? So today it's funny, most, because my office is in Dubai Hills, most of the Dubai Hills residents came to my office today. That's why I couldn't make a video because they were all booking units at the valley because they made crazy money. It was uh, the sort of profit that they made. They picked up from the secondary market. So I have buyers who bought like maple three beds around two and a half million rooms. Today they're selling at three and a half to four million rooms. So for them, this is a bomb. If they invest at two and a half, they sell it at five, they make double the profit. But we analyze on a, on a conservative basis. So these are the flow plans. I'll send it to you later, but you know, this is exactly how EMAR, what EMAR does, right? They, they figured that, you know, people want bigger gardens. They were nice open floor plan, um, car parking space. So I will send across the floor plans to you. 
mind blowing when like previously if you saw my video where i said i had a loss of 45 million dirhams uh, in worth of investments why because they were selling tiny bird cages right and over here that's not going to fly anymore you cannot sell those boxes people need space they need wardrobe space they want a nice house where they can actually live so just to summarize see, this is the process that works in any good launch especially ema uh, step one of course we understand the product uh, step two once we have complete faith in the product we've done our comparative analysis we've done our cash flow analysis if we do a priority booking we find the right location within the community and that's that's just a money bomb it, it is it is the best best way to make a very safe strategic investment in dubai the safest way to make some serious money so thank you for watching um it's been a crazy hectic day you know so if i've missed something please point it out to me uh leave leave a comment you know i like interacting with you guys i should come live soon i will do a live session soon i have a lot of feedback from investors mentioning that you should do live it's a great session it's very it's a great way to interact so i will come up with a live session soon i hope you enjoy this if you want me to uh send you across the report let me know if you uh want to add something in the report in the future let me know and let me know your thoughts thank you for watching mamud zaheb experience